Vision of Faith, the television ministry dedicated to bringing you the Word of God from today's local ministries. If you're searching for the truth, look no further. Let's go in now and find out who's bringing the Word of God this week on Vision of Faith. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross. My debt to pay from the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name. Lord, I lift your name on high. 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 We love you, Father God, and we invite you into this church because we need your spirit so very badly, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you bless this church, Father God. We thank you for all the miracles we've seen presented in this church. Me as a witness, Father God, all the miracles that have come through this church. We pray for the pastor, Father God. We ask that you anoint him and give him the power of the Holy Spirit, Father God, that we have ears to hear what he says, Father God. We need to hear a word from you, Amen. Father God. Amen. We thank you for that Amen. word, Father God. I ask that you bless each and every one of us, Father God. We are your church. We are the body, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for all of your love, your grace, your mercy, your favor, your strength, and your the endurance you give us, Father God. We ask, Father God, that we be an empowered people Amen. for you, Father God. Amen. We acknowledge, Father God, that you are the one and only true living God and your son Jesus Christ came down on this earth, Father God, and rose up, Father God, on the third day and sits at the very right hand of you, Father God. This church is a praying church, Father God. Build this church, Father God. Empower the pastors to give the people the true word that we need so very badly, Father God. Amen. We thank you for this church, Father God. Praise we thank praise you for praise. each and every person in thank here. You. We ask that you bless each and every one of us along with our family, Amen. Father God. Amen. We thank you, Father God, for being here. We're ready to hear your word, Father God. Open our spirits to you, Father God, and what you have to tell us this morning, Father God. We thank you for that, Father God. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for this church, and we ask you to bless and anoint this church in Jesus' name, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so very much for listening to our program today. The address of the church is 15640 River Road, Hanville, Louisiana. Our service time is at 10 o'clock. The telephone number is 985-308-1425. And may the Lord richly bless you. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the town of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? Who is Jesus according to the Bible? Who is Jesus according to the Bible? In the, Mark was written by John Mark in the year 65 or 70 AD. During that time, the church was going through all kinds of tribulation. Nero had set the city on fire. And what he did with the Christian, he would burn the Christian upside down to make a light for his garden. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but he would throw the Christian in the, uh, in, arena, in the arena and they would have to fight lion, tigers, or whatever other kind of animals. So the church was in turmoil during that time. The time was about 65 to 70 AD. 
and Mark was called the one with thick fingers. The historian tells us that Mark was known as the one with thick, thick fingers. The Bible gives us four different reasons why Mark wrote this, guy, this gospel. The first one is how Jesus knows what the church is going to do. All right. Jesus knows exactly what you are going to do because the church was in, in turmoil during that time. Yes, Peter had just died. Yes. And it was time for Mark to write the first gospel yes. for people to know that Jesus, what Jesus had done and what Jesus can do in our lives. Amen. Number two, it is a call of discipleship. Yes, yes. It means that you have to suffer. Or you have to go through tri trials and tribulation, even if you do not want to go through those trials and tribulations. Amen. It is a testimony about Jesus Christ, uh, about the greatness of God through Jesus. Amen. The book of Mark is a testimony about the greatness of God as seen in Christ. The fourth one is that you have the resurrection indicated and it is the hope for them. They knew that Jesus had died. But the Mark wanted to show them that they have to have hope yes. in the midst of all the trials and tribulations that they were yes. going through. Yes. You have to keep on, you have to have hope in your life. Yes, Lord. So what is Jesus? In the book of Genesis. All right now. Jesus is the Elohim. Yes, he is. He is the creator. Yes, yes. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. For by him were all things we created yes, yes. that are in heaven and that are in earth. Yes, yes, the things visible and invisible. Yes, whether yes. they be throne, thrones or principalities of power, all things were created by him and for him. Yes. We were created for Jesus. Amen. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1, the Bible tells us that God created the church yes. to be able to give glory to God. Yes, Lord. And in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43 and verse 7, yes, Lord. the scripture said, Even everyone that is called by my name, yes. for I have created him for my glory. Yes, Lord. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Yes, Lord. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1 and verse 26, the Bible said, And God, Elohim, Elohim. All right. Said, let us make man in our image. Yes, Lord. After our likeness. Amen. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Yes, Lord. And over the fowls of the air. And over the cattle. And over all the earth. And, e and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. So in the book of Genesis, God is, Jesus is Elohim. Yes, He is. The creator of every living thing. Yes, every, the yes, things that you can Hallelujah. see and the things that you cannot see. Amen. In Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7, the Bible says, And the Lord God, Yahweh Elohim, yes, yes. formed man of the dust of the ground yes, he did. and breathed into his nostril the bread of life, yes, and did. man became a living soul. Amen. Thank so the Bible is saying that, that Jesus is the very breath of your life. Yes, Lord. Amen. Jesus is the very breath Amen. of Hallelujah. your life. Glory. In the book of Exodus, Jesus is the I am that I am. Yes. And in the Bible, in the book of Exodus, yes, yes. That's, that those letters are in all capital letters. Yeah. Jesus said in John, I am. I am. So what does that mean? It means, I will be that I will be. Yes, Lord. Whatever you want Christ to be in your life, he has the power to be whatever you want him to be. If you want him to heal your body, he has the power to heal your body. Yes, yes. If you need righteousness of your life, he is able to give you righteousness to the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. He said, I am. That means that Jesus is the... The alone existence. Yes, yes. He is the alone, A L O N D, and be the only one yes, Lord. that had no beginning and no ending. Thank you, Jesus. He is the alone. Thank you. He, he is, he is that is, and that was, and that was to come. All right. That's in Revelation chapter 1, verse 4 and 8. Thank you, Jesus. He is our memorial. Oh, he is. The name whereby I am to be to, to be spoken of. Yes. He's the memorial of the church. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. In the book of Leviticus, yeah. he is our great 
high priest. High priest. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. our high priest. The Bible tells us in the book of Hebrew, chapter 4 and verse 14. Oh, yes. Seeing then that we have a great high priest, high priest. Yeah. Yeah. that is passed into the heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God. Yeah. Let us hold fast our profession. Oh, yes. Yeah. In the book of Numbers, mm. he is Yahweh. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yahweh in all capital letters. Yes, yeah. Lord. L O R D. Preach. That means that He is self existent. Yes, He is. Yeah. He is the giver of your life. Yes, yes. He is. He's a covenant God. Yes, yes. That whatever He says, He has the power to bring it to. Thank you. Jesus is our performer of His promises. Yes, Lord. So if He said He's going to heal you, Amen. He is going to heal you. All right, now. Whatever He says, He's not like man. Yes. Man cannot be trusted, yes. but Jesus can always be trusted yes. in the book of Deuteronomy. Yes. He is Moses' voice. Yes. In the book of Joshua, he is Yahweh Elohim. Yes, he, is. Yes. he is our ruler, yes. our judge, yes. and the master yes. of this earth. Yes, Lord. In the book of Ju Judges. He is Jehovah Shalom. Yes, Lord. Yes, the God that give us peace. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the Bible tells us that God, God gave us four different kinds of peace. Yes, he does. In the book of Psalm 119, yes. verse 65, yes. Yes. God gave us great peace. Great peace. Yeah. Abundant, Abundant peace. Yes. It's a yes. great peace yes. have they which love thy law. Yes, Lord. And nothing shall offend them. Amen. Amen. In the book of Isaiah. He gives us perfect peace perfect. that will keep him in perfect peace Praise whose you. mind is stayed on them. So if you're looking for perfect peace, all you have to do is keep your mind on Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Praise God. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 48 and verse 18, yes. the Bible says, that the peace that Jesus gave us. Yes, yes. You see, peace, peace is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, it is. He said he give you peace, peace like a river. All right now. The peace yes. like a river. Yes. Isaiah 48 and 18. Say, oh, that that oh that thou has hearkened unto my commandment. Yes, yes. God said you have to hearken unto his, his commandment. Command. Then had the peace. Then had then had thy peace been as a river. All right. And thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Yes, Lord. Jesus said in John 14 and 27, yeah. Peace I leave with you. Yes. My peace I give unto you. Yes, yes. Not as the world give it, give give I unto you. Let not your heart be, be troubled. troubled. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. You know what the word trouble mean? Yes. Jesus had a troubled heart. Yes, 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 it is. The word trouble in Greek is the word terrasso. Yes, 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 Lord. And it means, do not let your heart go into agitation. Yes. Do not let your heart go into convulsion. All right. Yes. Then Jesus said, peace, peace I leave with you. Yes, he leaves. My peace I give unto you. Amen. Not as the world give it. Give I unto you, let not, let, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. In the book of Galatians, I tell you where to get peace. All right. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. Yeah. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, love. Yeah. joy, and peace. Thank you. The only way that you could receive perfect peace. Yes. The Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Have, have, to, have, to, get, have to be the one to give you a perfect peace. Praise God. Thank you. In the book of Job. Yeah. Yes. Jesus is Adonai. All right. He is the master of your life. Yes, Lord. He is the owner of the of the universe. Yes, he is. Everything in this universe. Yes. Yeah. Jesus is the one that was responsible for creating the sun, the moon, the stars, yes. everything, the earth, whatever. Yes. Yes. Jesus is Adonai. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. And he said unto man. Praise you, God. In Job chapter 28 and verse 28. And he said unto men, Behold, the fear of the Lord, Adonai. All right. Yeah. All right. That Preach. is wisdom. Preach. And to depart from evil is understanding. All right. Jesus is in every book of the Bible. Yes, he is. Because the whole Bible is centered around Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes, it is. Yes. Hallelujah. In the book of Psalms, the 150 Psalms that's in that Bible. Yes. Jesus is Yahweh 
Adonai. Yes, he is. In Psalm 66 and 13, he is Yahweh Adonai. The Lord God is my strength. All right now. Yes, he is. My and the Bible says mm. in the book of uh, Psalm 23. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd. shepherd yes, he, is. he is Yahweh Roha. All right. Yeah. He is the performer of his promises. Yes, he, is. he is the uh, covenant keeper. Yes, He's yes. the one that gives you life. Yes, he is. Jesus is the Thank one that's you. responsible Thank for you. your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Lord. He restores Thank my soul. My soul. Yes, he, does. he is Jehovah Rapha. All right. He is the God that gives you life. He's the God that if you're sick, He's the one that's able to heal you. All right. The Lord is Jehovah yeah. Rapha. Amen. And all He has to do is send His Word send and word. heal you and deliver you from every destruction. Oh, yeah. And the Bible says, Oh, that man would praise the Lord for His goodness yeah. and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Amen. He leads me in path of righteousness. Yes, yes. He is Jehovah Tishkanu. Yes, He is. You are righteous. By the righteousness of Jesus Christ Amen. that Jesus has imputed in your life. All right. Yeah. Because we are all like filter rang yes, yes, until we, we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior. Amen. Yes, Lord. And the Bible says Jesus is Jehovah Shema. Oh. Wherever you go, Jesus is there. Amen. There's no place that you can go all right. where God, where the, the Holy Spirit is not. There are with you. Amen. Thank in you. Proverbs, he is wisdom's cry. All right. If you want wisdom in the Bible, all right. Yes. All you have to do yes. is read the book of Proverbs. All right. The book of Proverbs is a wisdom book yes, to make you wise. Yes. Wow. And that was written by Solomon. All right. The wisest oh. man that ever lived on the face of the earth. Amen. Don't you want wisdom? Yes. Sir. You have to. Wisdom is gotten from the Spirit of the Lord. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. In Ecclesiastes, he is Elohim. Yeah. The Lord, God that has given to the sons of men to be busy with. All right. In other words, what he's saying is that God is Elohim. Amen. Yes. That's what the book of Ecclesiastes is telling you. Yes. And as you read the Bible, you start from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, yes. you're going to find all those Hebrew words in them. All right. And it and it, it stands for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because the Bible is centered around Jesus. Yes, it is. You have to read your Bible. All right now. And in the Song of Solomon. Solomon. He is the lover's dream. Yes. I remember I used to write this this older man was in love with this young woman. All right. And he would come to me and he said, Pastor Bella, why don't you write me a short little note? All right. And I would go into the Song of Solomon. Uh, and I would take some of those words and I would send that to his young lover. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the Song of Solomon is the lover's, yes. is the lover's dream. Yes. All right. In Isaiah, he's the wonderful. All right. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. All right. The everlasting Father. Yes. And the very Prince yes. of our peace. Yes. In Jeremiah, my favorite. Favorite book. All right. He is Jehovah Tishkanu. Yes. The Lord our righteousness. Oh yes. He is Jehovah Tishkanu. Yes. The God that makes you right because you accepted Christ as your personal Savior. Yes. In the book of Lamentation, yes. he is the cry for Israel. In Lamentation chapter 1 and verse 2, the Bible says, She wept bitterly. Oh yes. She wept. Bitterly. Bitterly. All right. That's why he's called the cry for Israel. All right. God has a love for his for Israel. Yes, he does. And he we should need to have a love for Israel. Yes, All right. And in the book of Ezekiel, he is Yahweh Shema. All right. The Lord is there. Yes, he is. So when you ride in your in your car, yes. God is there. Yes, yes, he is. Yes. When you're on that level, yes. praying. Yes. God is yes. there. Yes. God is omnipresent. Yes, he is. He's everywhere at the same time, at the same place. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is praise there. You. Praise you. Praise you. In Daniel, Thank you. he is the stranger in the fire. All right. Uh -huh. Didn't he say, they have three. I thought we had three persons in there. Yes. But I saw somebody in there like the Son of God. Amen. That was Jesus, Jesus. that was in that fire yes, with his yes, people. Yes, yes, praise God. In the book of Hosea, he is forever faithful. All right. Yes. In the book of Hosea, Jesus is forever 
faithful. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. In the book of Joel. All right. He is. He is the spirit power. Power. He is El Shaddai also. All right. El Shaddai appeared for the. 48 times in the Old Testament. Yes. Which means that Jesus is God Almighty. Yes, He is. Yes. In the book of Amos, He is the arm that carry us. All right. Oh, He is Yahweh. Yes. yes. The great God of the universe. Amen. He carries the church with His right hand. All right. In the book of o Obadiah, Mm. He is the Lord, our Savior. Yes. Or Adonai, Yahweh. All right. The Lord, Jehovah. Oh, yeah. Or the Lord, Yahweh, or the Master of our lives. Yes, He is. That's who Jesus is. Jesus is. Praise In Jonah, He is the great missionary. All right. Yes. In Jonah, He is the great missionary. Yes. yes. In Michael, He is the promise of peace. All right. Yes. In Nahum, He is the strength. He is our strength and our shield. Yes. Oh, he is Yahweh of hosts. Amen. Yahweh Sabiat. All right. <laughs> In the book of Habakkuk. Oh, yes. Praise God. He is the Lord God is my strength. Jesus. In the book of Haggai. Oh, yes. Zechariah and Malachi. Yes, yes. He is Yahweh of hosts. All right. He is Yahweh Sabiat. Hallelujah. The God that tells the church yes, yes. to stand still Praise. and see Praise. the salvation Praise. of the Lord. Thank you. You see, look at your enemies over there. Oh, yeah. You see, look at your enemies for the last time. Oh, Lord. Because the enemies that you see right here, you shall see them no more. No more. After God sent his word mm. and deliver you from every disease that you have. Yes. He said you have to march, come in that pill pit, get up. And testify about the goodness of God. Yes. That's all you have to do. Yes. As God expects you to do. Yes. After God sent His word and heal your body. Amen. He is Jehovah Swapha. Yes. He is the God that has the power to heal your body. Yes. But the reason that He don't heal your body because of lack of faith. Yes. And all you have to do is act, tell the Lord. God, increase my faith. Increase my faith. And I guarantee you that God going to send His Word. And He's going to heal you by the Bible says from every destruction. All you need to do when the Lord heal your body. When God sets you free from prison. Whatever God does for you. You have to come Thank you. and Thank elevate or give glory to God. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 that the church was created to give glory to God. The church was created to give glory to God. When you walk in this building, you are walking, do you know why? Because Jesus is going to be a guest Amen. in his house of prayer. Amen. Jesus will be a guest Amen. in his house of prayer. All right. you. And you need to be in the church. Yes. Because the Bible has 7,832 promises. All right. And for God to be able to, to bless you and to hold the Lord accountable Amen. for those promises, Amen. you have to know them. Yeah, yes, you, you have to know. Let that preacher tell you yeah, what to so tell God. That's all you have to do. Because you know Thank why? You, hey. When you see the word Lord in all capital letters. Yes. When you see the word Lord in all capital letters. That means the word Yahweh. Yeah. And that means that God is a performer of His promises. Yes. He's a covenant keeper. Yes. He's the one. He is the one. Yeah. That could perform his promises. You know why? Because God is the giver of your existence. Yes, he is. God is your lifesaver. God is the one that fights your battle. He is the one that is called Jesus. Amen. And besides him, there is no other God. Amen. There is no other God. Thank you. All you have to do is believe. Yeah. Believe. I saw a woman that had cancer. She had cancer and she came, I led her to Christ, I baptized her. She came right here at this altar. 
And she said, Pastor Bello, I need to come in this church. I need to bow by that, by that altar. Yeah. The doctors in Georgia told her, you have about a week to live. God touched her body. Amen. And she lived maybe two or three months later. Amen. God is a healer. Yes, he is. God is a healer. God could become anything that you want him to become in your life. It doesn't matter what he is. He could become anything that you want in your life. You know why? Because he is that I am that I am. And that means he is whatever you want him to be in your life. He is a great God. He is the master of this universe. And when you walk in this church, you're walking because Jesus is a guest in his house of prayer. That's all you have to do. Make it a habit to come here. As the book of Revelation tells you. Let you let us hear what the Spirit of God Amen. has to say to the church. Amen. You need to come. You need to come hear God's Word. Because if you don't, the Word of God is life. Amen. You will die spiritually. You need to come hear what the Spirit of God Amen. has to say to the church. Amen. May God bless you and may God keep you. Right. This is our prayer. The times that we live in right now are so uncertain and they certainly are to me unsettling and I don't know about y'all but um, I feel overwhelmed a lot and I'm so glad I came here this morning because Pastor preached on the peace of God. And that's exactly what I needed to hear. I'm glad for God's grace and His mercy this morning because He enabled me to fellowship with um, people with a Christ-like heart. You know, God searches the heart. He doesn't look at, you know, the outer appearance, but He searches our hearts. So I'm glad that I came. The message was really um, good, you know, that Jesus is everything that we need. Thank you for letting us come today and enjoy the service that Pastor preached, which is a powerful message to all of us. I'm so glad to come, you know, to learn the Word, to be spiritually fed for the upcoming week, to be protected. Thank you so much for listening to our program. Our church is located at 15640 River Road, Hanville, Louisiana, Hanville Church. And if you would like to call us, the number is 985-308-1425, and you can call us anytime. We'd love to see you in person. God bless you. If you'd like a copy of today's message on DVD in its entirety, give us a call at the number on the screen to order today. Please make reference to the title of today's message, and thank you in advance for your support. Thank you for watching today's episode of Vision of Faith. If there is a ministry that you'd like to see featured, give us a call at 504-515-2284. That's 504-515-2284. On behalf of all of us, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.